last week, I laid out clear and concrete evidence of the IAFF Financial Corporation's choice to partner with Bay State Mass Mutual in a scheme to hide their actions from federal regulatory authorities and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, the part-time president, he's at it again. He's trying to deny the hard facts and brass tacks evidence, and he's trying to distract you from the headline news of the week. Did you catch it? Have you heard? Brothers and sisters, the question Ed Kelly doesn't want you asking right now is, where's Kurt Becker? Where is the chief operating officer of the IAFF Financial Corp? Where is Ed's hand-picked COO? the one currently being sued with the IFF Financial Corps, and the one at the center of the pay-for-play scheme to receive illegal kickback payments for financial corporation partnerships in the form of, we'll figure it out, side accounting donations to the IFF Foundation. Where's Kurt Becker? Here are the questions I think you deserve to have answers to. Is it more likely than not that three female employees of the IFF and IFF Financial Corporation filed workplace harassment complaints against Ed Kelly's handpicked choice to run the IFF FC. And is it more likely than not that Kurt didn't resign as Ed told the executive board, but rather that his effective immediately resignation was just another same day, no due process de facto termination, fitting the pattern of the part-time president appointing unqualified cronies who rapidly find themselves unable to fulfill their basic job duties. Brothers and sisters, it is more likely than not that the ongoing SEC investigation, lawsuit, and workplace harassment is why they're trying so hard to cover up Kurt Becker's departure and why the leadership is once again trying to distract you with fiery words about the mission rather than to take responsibility for their actions. Ed Kelly didn't mention his CEO's separation one time in his letter denying the facts of the SEC investigation. But the firefighters I know, the labor leaders and union members I've spoken to, they aren't easily fooled. We're firefighters. We know what a red flag is. We know what it sounds like when someone's trying to game the system, when they say, we'll figure it out or we can use side accounting. We know that the SEC is a federal agency and when they're subpoenaing documents and records, that's called an investigation. Brothers and sisters, our union's reputation is on the line, and that's why I'm sharing the truth with you. My goal is simple, to restore and rebuild our IAFF with you. It's time to end the rhetoric, own the truth, and lay out a true vision for trade union leadership. My name is Brayden Frame, and I'm ready to be your full-time IAFF general president. You are the IAFF. Now let's get our union back to work together.